Hello everyone, and if you are wondering what this video is about, it's about the Electronic Sports League sign-ups and how to register to the website at first, how to log in, and how to set yourself up. So what is ESL? Well, ESL stands for Electronic Sports League. It's, an, it's a league which is operated by Turtle Entertainment and has a ton of information, as you can see. Uh, it provides tournaments, a ladder across all games and skill levels. Just over 6 million members have played over 12 million matches in 77,500 tournaments. That's quite a lot. So this company is the longest running as far as I know. Um, obviously there are smaller companies out there. Um, but today we're focusing on the fact that we want to get involved in esports. And we want to sign up to the ESL website to try and get in ourselves a team signed up. And also signed up for the game of our choosing. Um, so basically there are two ways you can actually sign up as well. You can log in with your Facebook or you can log in and register just normally through the website. So if you want to sign up via Facebook, you can click that login button there. I've made up a, a separate account just to do it with this as well. Um, or you can log in and register by just clicking here on the right hand side. Just a quick note as well. You can see I'm currently on the United Kingdom website here, but you want to go to play.eslgaming.com. You'll go to your read region. Um, that doesn't matter too much. You can also change your region if you want to. As you can see here, if you go and uh, click change region, you can have global, you can have United Kingdom, you can have any of these regions around the world. Um, obviously, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan, all incoming as well as China. Um, it's good that they're able to go out towards there. Tons of regions in Europe, um, countries in Europe, as well as obviously the Americas as well. So depending on your region, you might want to log in through that. It will probably take you there automatically anyway. But if you want to log in, you can do so by doing this. So what do you want to do here? On the left hand side as you can see you can log in normally or you can log in via Facebook but we want to register for a free account here. So again it keeps telling you that you can log in with Facebook. So enter email, um, nickname, the nickname you want to have as your account, uh, your gender obviously, your country and whatnot and you do the little uh, catch up a thing to make sure that you are not a robot and you accept the terms and conditions, submit, and then you will have your account. So we are going to log in with Facebook. Most people will have this. If you don't, then you, it might just be easier for you to do that because it literally, if you are signed into your Facebook account, as I am here, uh, this is Jebrocast, this is just a made up one that I will use in the future for myself. Um, you can literally just log in and it asks you to continue as Jebro. ESL Play Gaming will receive the following info. There you go, your public profile and email address edits the info you provide. There we go. Click OK and you are ready to go to the next step. So, log in or create an account with your Facebook account. Use the ESL fast and easy way with your Facebook account. And uh, I am new. To register on ESL, enter the following information. So you have your, you can input your own info here. So I'll go Jebro Caster. Uh, which country do I live in? I don't live in Afghanistan. I live in the United Kingdom. So we are going to create an account here. Not too, it's really quite an easy thing to do as well, especially if you've got Facebook. It just makes it extremely easy. Um, I'm not going to say the password because I don't want to. Um, so, obviously read through these terms and conditions of use. I've already read through all of these because I've been here and I've done this before. But it's always good to just quickly read through these. Make sure you know what you're signing up to as per usual. Although you'll probably just click save and go ahead. And then you are logged into the ESL system. You have an account set up, but you have things to do, people. So on the top right hand side, you can see I've got my little picture. This is all my information from Facebook here. This is my account. I click on my Jebro Caster name there. So we have our account set up, ready to go. You can do things like change your photo. You can edit your info, which obviously is your information up here, you can see. Um, your URL, your alias, your main team, but you need to sign up for teams. So we need to make sure we go through that, of course. 
and all the other information you would like to put in, a description, your address, your nationality, occupation, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but yeah, here on the left hand side you can see all the different options you've got as well, telling you your awards and whatnot, your game accounts as well, which is an important thing to know. And here you need to add your game accounts for which games you actually have in your collection. So, here, and you need to be able to do this to actually enter yourself into, and the team, into an ESL tournament. So, for example, I will use Guild Wars 2, because that is the game that I am currently playing, and I am currently a Shoutcaster for as well. So, let's go over to this option. Da, 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 da. Guild Wars 2, EU or NA. Now, you need to make sure you click the right region for your game because some obviously have an EU or an NA region, as you can see down here. Some games have Asia, Europe, Americas and whatnot, Hearthstone and stuff. But here we're going to click on Guild Wars 2 and EU. And it's where your account is. So if you're in the EU and you're playing on North America, then you need to check the rules for that tournament because sometimes they won't let you play if you're playing from the EU. Um, but that will be in the tournament rules. We'll go through that fairly soon. But Guild Wars 2 EU. Then value is what the account is called. So my account, and I don't mind to you seeing this, is Jebro.7360. So that's the num name and number affiliated with my account. This information is correct. We have added my Guild Wars 2 account to my profile. Something which is very important because a lot of tournaments do need that information because they need to get in contact with you. They need to show you that uh, you are a real person, I suppose, as well in the game. And uh, yeah, it's just part of the process that you really should go through. And it's very simple to set up. It takes no time at all. And yeah, so you can see I've been taken to the settings, which is this little cog wheel right here. So let's just double click that to make sure that's exactly the thing I am talking about right here. Um, and you can see you can change all the information here. So this has been a very, very short video on showing you how to sign up for ESL and to actually get yourself started on, on your way to potentially getting into a tournament with a team. The next video I'm going to show you is going to be basically how you actually sign yourself up and as part of a team or a team captain to go into a tournament and uh, yeah I hope this video has helped you so far I know it's very short it might seem obvious but I get this question a lot how do I sign up to ESL and how do I add a game account to my ESL account thanks for watching and I'll see you soon